Freedom Worship Center of Charlotte is a community built on faith, fellowship, and the belief that Jesus Christ is the true center of our church. We provide a fun, casual worshiping environment that uses inspiring messages from the Bible and translates those messages to real-world applications. Our community is a group of people from all walks of life who come together to celebrate the Word of Christ, find abundant freedom and peace, experience breakthroughs in every area of life, and discover a whole new level of God's anointing and power. If you're looking for a church that celebrates God in a fun and comforting atmosphere, we invite you to be our guest at Freedom Worship Center of Charlotte. Visit us online for sermon times or call us today for more information. Come grow with us. I'm Dr. Randall Hall Walker. What a joy it is to come to you by way of television and my wonderful studio audience. Aren't they alive? Yes! And, yes, wonderful. Listen, listen. And I got Johnetta with us. Johnetta is all the way from Pennsylvania. She's with us today. And so we're excited about her being yes, back with are. us. Uh, she's an honorary member of us, and uh, we're just mm -hmm. so grateful that she's with us. Yes. And I want to thank my studio audience. You guys are so awesome, extraordinary. I want to thank all of those who are watching by way of yes. television and Hello. watch us on a weekly basis. We say thank you, and we trust we're imparting in your life and sharing with you some wisdom, and we trust that we are being a blessing to you. And if we're being a blessing to you, I want to encourage you to go to our website, fwccharlotte.com, uh, and click on Give and make a generous gift so we can stay on, on the air, keep coming to you That's by good. way of television. Right. But we're excited. we got a wonderful show. Do not touch that dial. We have a wonderful show prepared for you. We're going to talk about prayer because we have learned some secrets about prayer. And prayer moves the hand in the heart of God, yes, which I'm sure all of us does. know. And so today we're going to deal with some techniques and some strategies in getting your prayers answered. How many want their prayers answered? Yes, yes. we do. We do. Right. So what we're going to do is help you with that because the Word of God is clear on how to pray. You know, the Scripture says when the disciples, they didn't know how to pray. They mm -hmm. said, teach us to pray. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And that's what we have to ask God, the Holy Spirit, to teach us to pray. Mm -hmm. And me and my lovely darling, my, <laughs> my darling, darling baby, <laughs> my sweet and sexy lady. <laughs> oh, boy. I can't, just can't resist it. I'm telling you, I cannot resist it. I try so hard. I forget I'm on secular uh, uh, Christian television, and I think I'm on secular uh, TV. <laughs> I got to forget that. You all forget me. <laughs> but this is an awesome, extraordinary, powerful woman of God mm -hmm. that God has blessed me with. And every morning, we're up from uh, 6 to 6.30. Uh, we're praying from 6 to 6.30 every morning from uh, 6 to 6.30, Monday through Friday. Yes. You can dial in. We're going to yes, give you are. that number before we close. And it should be at the bottom of your screen. And if it's not uh, the number, we're going to give it to you a uh, little, little later in the program. But I want to encourage you to call in. People are calling from all over Illinois. Yes. Uh, calling in and for in prayer. Illinois. And uh, God is just doing some great things. Mm -hmm. And I tell you what, here's the secret I'm going to tell you. One of the things, you want to get on the prayer line on Fridays. Yeah. I mean, because yeah. this awesome, extraordinary woman prays heaven down. This morning was Friday. And my God, not only was it was it Friday. Today's Thursday. We did Thursday. Oh, Thursday. Thursday. Oh, I know what it was. It was the end of the month. End of the month. That's month. what it was. The end of the month. Yes. She prayed yes. heaven down, closing out the month, going into a new season. This season is over with, and we closed it out, and we went out with a blast. I'm oh telling you what, God. we went out with a blast. So, That's awesome. so as we're moving into September. We're anticipating and expecting some great things. Yes. So as you position yourself for prayer, one of the things I want to encourage you to do is to write God a letter. Mm. Uh, on one of my previous shows, I shared with you how I wrote God a letter 20 
23 years ago, 22, 23 years ago, and God heard my cry, heard my prayer, and answered it because I was intentional and I was living life on purpose and I was determined to get my prayer through to God. And you know what? The scripture says that the effectual fervent prayers right. of the righteous availeth much. You know what that means, don't, it, don't you? It means effectual fervent. That's hot, fiery hot, prayers. Hot, fiery prayers. Yeah. I mean, that's not, uh, Lord, lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to keep. No. That, that's, no, 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 no. God is good. God is great. Thank you for this food. Let's eat. No, 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 no. It's not that type of prayer. It's fervent. That means diligent. That means to the boiling point. Because, yes. see, you have to break through demons and devils. Mm. See, demons and devils, they come to hinder you from receiving what God has already blessed you with. And their strategy is to stop you and hinder your prayers from getting to the throne room of heaven. Mm -hmm. But I guarantee you, if you pray the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous and you get your prayer through those demons and devils and you get it to heaven, it's a done deal. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I agree. Fidella? I believe that in the, in the prayer time that we have to make up our mind and our heart and our soul that when we are ready to go before the Lord, even though the enemy will want to stop you and attack you, he can't touch the faith that you have. So you're walking by faith, believing that everything that you ask, the word of God says, whatever I ask for in prayer, believing that it's done and it shall be done. We're also calling those things that be not as though they were. We're praying without ceasing. We're just believing God for everything that we have decreed and declared. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to clarify to those who are watching by way of television when we say, because, uh, you know, Christians always say, pray those things that be not as okay. though they were. Oh, yes, I love Let that one. Those who are watching, you might not know the Lord as your personal Savior. And before this broadcast, we're going to give you an opportunity to give your heart to the Lord. But we want to share with you with clarity, because, you know, sometimes we, we use Scripture and you don't quite understand the Scripture those things that be not as though they were. So would you explain, look at that camera and I explain sure to these wonderful studio audience and, and also those who are watching by way of television. I sure will. I love the scripture. It says, call those things that be not as though they were. And so let me put it, break it down into layman's term. If you wanted a house or you wanted a car or you wanted a 10-speed, what you would do is you would say, I'm going to get that house. I'm going to get it by next year. I'm going to have me a house. Or if you're looking for a car, you're going to save up for that car, and you say, by next year, I'm going to have that. So what you're doing is you're calling in the house. You're calling in the car. You're calling those things that do not exist. The house doesn't exist. The car doesn't exist. Nothing really exists right now other than your faith. So you believe that it's going to be yours, and because you believe it's going to be yours, you begin to say, I'm going to have that. So it's the same thing as the way I know it in the scripture, is call those things that be not as though they do not, or as though they do not exist. Let me say it right. Call those things that be not as though they were. So you call those things that are not into existence. Wow, so that, that is that's good. That's it. It's, it's kind of like, as I, I share with our audience and I share from time to time, being a visionary. Uh -huh. A visionary is very important, and, and that works with the power of prayer. A visionary is one who sees what things should be, right. what it could be, mm -hmm. and what it will be right. in spite of the way it is. Right. That's, <laughs> that's a visionary, that's yes. yes. That, that's, the, that's a visionary. That's right. That's a visionary. A visionary does that. That's what a visionary does. They... Uh, have a vision for what's possible, what they can create, what they can make happen. And prayer does that. Prayer, does prayer that. gives you a vision. And the Word of God says, without a vision, the people perish. Mm -hmm. Which implies mm -hmm. that where there's vision, you will thrive and you will strive and you will soar and you will go high when there's vision. That's because right. in vision, there's revelation. That's and good. when there's revelation, that's there's good. power. That's right. That's right. Okay. So, so that's what we receive. When we meet with God in the morning at 6 o'clock, yes. as we connect with him, we get a vision for what's possible. Yeah, that's great. We are commanders of the morning. I'm oh. telling you what. Yes, And we, we command are. our day. Woo. Yeah, we command our day. 
Yeah, we don't give no place to the devil, no opportunity. We don't say this is going to be a boring day. I don't know what's going to happen today. I, you know, this day, I probably won't do much of anything. I'm just so uh, tired. I just got to go get up and go to work. And after that, I don't know. my. You know, my life just a mess. I'm toe up from the floor, <laughs> jacked up, you know. No, 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 no. We when we rise up in the morning, yes. we are we are the commanders of the morning. We're the early risers. Yes, Amen. We, are. we believe it. You know, David. David was, was one, uh, a man after God's own heart. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the things about David. David said, I'll rise early and seek God. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, you got to rise early. You know, at night is when demons, and you know, when I was in the world, everything could be just fine during the day. I mean, just everything, just great, having a good time, partying and, and everything, everybody getting along. As soon as nighttime came, all hell broke loose. <laughs> Man, demons and devils came from everywhere. Man, I'm like, where? What's this? I mean, fights breaking out, arguing, but all during the day, you know, things are great. So, the scripture says they love darkness rather, rather than, than light, light because their deeds are evil. evil. So, mm -hmm. so seek God early in the morning. Right. Command your day. Command what your day is going to look like. See what your day going to look like in the spirit realm. Begin to see it. Be a visionary and start believing God that your day is going to be great. Now, this is, uh, we're closing out this month of, um, I don't know if you're watching by California, you probably, uh, your time is different than us. Oh, by the way, I want to shout out to all those in California. Hey, California. Yes, hey. Want to, and now I'm going to start shouting out. So I, Real quick. Sh Chicago. Detroit. Yeah. No, 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 no. You can't do it like that. <laughs> They'll be mad at you. See, that's oh, how you make Florida. enemies. <laughs> Hi, you all. Yes. Hello. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello, hello there in Chicago, Chi Town, <laughs> and Motor City, my hometown. And you, you're going to. In Florida. Yes, right. Our wonderful our son and, and um, his lovely wife and all of our grandkids want to say hello. But when, when you're watching this program, whatever time you're watching it, I want you to know that at this time, we are preparing for the next day. Oh, yes. See, you have to prepare to get blessed. You don't just get blessed. You're in life, you have to prepare yourself to get blessed. Position mm. yourself for the blessing. That's right. Position yourself to walk into your greatness mm -hmm. and become extraordinary and become awesome and become creative and, and just move and soar high for kingdom living. And be a possibility thinker. I mean, think things that are possible. Because the Word of God says, with God, all things are, all things are, are possible. possible. With God, nothing mm -hmm. is impossible. Mm -hmm. But the, the enemy puts limitations and restraints and boundaries and tell us what we can't do, what we shouldn't do, what we uh, ought to not do. And next time we, ne next thing you know, we're listening to the enemy and we start believing his lies. you got to be a possibility thinker. you got to be right. one that lives life on purpose. You got to be one who is creative. You got to be one who are, is determined to fulfill your God-given purpose, and you're gonna do it flowing in the anointing mm. and flowing with the anointed That's one good. and His anointing. That's good. Fidella? That's good. That's good. You spoke about the early risers, and that's a sacrifice. Yes. For most people, <laughs> they want to stay in the bed until the last minute, get up just in time to grab something to eat and run out the door. That's right. But see, what you don't understand is that you don't know what you're running out into. So that is one of the reasons mm. why we can block the, the enemy when we get up as the early risers before the sun comes up. We are able to... to Put the devil on notice and right. let him know that every scheme, every trick, every plan, every purpose that he has to destroy us. Because every single day we may have prayed him away yesterday, but he's coming back again even stronger and more angry. You know, so, and, and the word of God says that he'll leave you for a season. Just for a season. And he does leave us during our prayer season, but he'll try anything he can to, to distract you, to destroy your day. So that's one of the reasons why at the beginning of our prayer time, we talk about being an early riser, the sacrifice that, you know, I was thinking about how when I get on the line and I hear those little beats coming in and, and the people are coming on, and I said, Lord, I'm so humbled by that, that anybody would even sit and listen to me pray. Yes. And uh, they keep coming on, and I say every single day, everybody gets on and sacrifice that time to, to 
uh, sit at the throne room with God and pray and believe God is doing some great things. Then as we close the prayer, between the time that we start with worship, devotion, and closing, I always say if, when they're walking out that door, that they're walking out into the invisible. Mm, that's they're good walking stuff. out into the unknown that's right. every single day, even though every week turns around a Monday, a Tuesday, a Wednesday, a Thursday, a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Next week starts Monday, but every day is different. That's right. Every plan of the enemy is different. Yes. But God is so wonderful that he allowed his son Jesus with the power and authority that he has to come and destroy the works of the enemy. And then he said that he gave us that same power. Wow, yes. The same power that same we... Same power. And listen to this, TV audience and studio audience. We can destroy the works of the enemy as well by faith, That's by right. believing God, that everything God said is possible. Either I'm, I really believe the word of God or I don't believe the word of God. You're either going to believe it or you don't. That's you can't right. believe page 192 and don't believe 786. <laughs> you have to believe it all. Because every bit of it is inspired of God. I hear people say, man wrote the word of God. Yeah, inspired by God. He did, they did write. He did write it. But guess what? When you begin to know who God is through the communication of prayer and understanding the power that you have, you can get up every morning. And when you get ready to open that door, you say, look out, world. That's Here, right. Here I, I come. come. Yes. Here I come. That's wonderful. Yes. You know, as, as my lovely wife was sharing about faith, Faith moves the hand in the heart of yes. God. And the word of God says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. That's right. That they that come to God must believe that he is. That he is. And that he's a rewarder to them that diligently mm -hmm. seek him. Right. And the word of God says that we can frame our world yes. by the word like of God. That. It says, like now that. faith. Faith mm -hmm. is now. Don't put your faith in the mm -hmm. future. Put your faith in now. Now faith. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the Things hoped for, the evidence of things not yet revealed to the physical senses. That's right. There's not been yet revealed to the physical senses. So it's in that unknown that my mm. wife talked about. Walking in the unknown. You know, right. people are afraid of the unknown. I know. And that's how the enemy uses that to hinder them mm -hmm. from moving into their greatness and becoming extraordinary because they're afraid of the unknown, like the yeah. boogeyman going to get them. <laughs> or, you know, they're afraid of, of what's out there. Ooh. No, you cannot be afraid. That's right. Can, no fear. You cannot. You cannot frame your world mm -hmm. within a world because mm -hmm. the Word of God says that you can frame your world within a world. Right. It's like a picture frame, and you can look in that picture frame, and your world is in that frame. That's great. You can frame your world within yeah. a world. Yeah. In other words, your life, if you don't like the way it is now, then change it because you're a designer. Did you know you are a designer? Mm -hmm. You are a designer, and you designed your life. So if it's messed up right now, just change the design and switch it and, and, and get a new way of, of designing and be creative and redesign your life because you designed it the way it is today. And if you don't like it, you can do something you about do it, something and about prayer it. will right. help you to do that. That's good. Prayer will help you to do that. Mm -hmm. Prayer will help you to do that. But it don't. does. And the more you pray, the closer you become uh, in, in relationship with God. The more That's you good. pray, the more you feel his presence. Mm. Whenever you, whatever that place. And, and, and one of the things I encourage everyone to do is find a place in your home that's dedicated just for that prayer that's time. Awesome. Yes. Let that place be um, uh, sanctified. sacred. Mm -hmm. Sacred. Yes. Just for you, and you put your Bible there. It could be a desk. It could be, it could be whatever. Well, we're blessed to have an extra bedroom, and we turn that into my war room. We turn that into the prayer room. And so there's nothing that goes on in that room but prayer. And you know what? The great thing about mm -hmm. it in this season, mm -hmm. since we've been praying, I don't have to war against demons anymore. That's I don't good. have to war against them. I don't have to fight demons. Mm -hmm. Demons stay away from me. Oh, yeah. They know good. I ain't nothing to play with. Oh. <laughs> kind of reminds me back in the day before I got saved. <laughs> demons that's don't right. mess with me. Now, I, right. I'm not ignorant of Satan's devices. 
I know there will come a time mm -hmm. where they'll launch an attack because mm -hmm. Paul says, having done all to stand, mm -hmm. stand in your evil day. That's right. And an evil day is when every demon that met you, that you knew, every mm -hmm. demon that can think of it, they all get together and they say, da 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 charge and they come at you mm -hmm. you know and you gotta you gotta have an anointing on you to yeah, fight off right. them fiery darts you know the wicked kind of like when i used to watch superman as a little boy and they used to just shoot and them bullets be popping off them that you gotta have an anointing on you when them demons mm -hmm. throw those fiery darts at you you say that's your best shot come with something better come with something better because greater is he that's in me than any demon that's in the world that's right. <laughs> and that's and right. be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. And have on the whole armor right. of God that you can stand mm -hmm. against demons and devil. Don't let them intimidate you. Because that's, right. that's all they can do is intimidate you. They can't hurt you. Mm -hmm. They cannot hurt you, but they can make you hurt yourself. That's right. that's <laughs> they, right. can, they can make that's you right. uh, so afraid you, uh, you run, into, run, and run into something and hurt yourself. But uh, do not be afraid of demons. <laughs> Do not be afraid. Don't let them torment you. Don't let them push you around. Don't let them bully you. You run those demons and devils. You have your life full of fire because they don't like fire and because they, they know that that's where they're going in a lake of fire. So they run from fire. So you stay on fire and demons going to run from you. That's good. Bedella? That's good. And we don't have to fear because God said that he didn't give us a spirit of fear. That's right. That's from the devil. And fear is false evidence appearing real, That's if good. you want to use the acrostic. So we don't have to fear. You, when, when the enemy comes in, you want to tell him, or you don't even have to tell him, just ignore him. Because the word of God says resist him. Mm -hmm. Just ignore him. All he wants is get your attention anyway. And once <laughs> he get it, then he's got you, and you're forgetting the scripture. You're like, what? <laughs> What scripture was that? And now he's got you all tangled up and messed up. But if you ignore him and resist him, you can say, greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. Explain he's, that. Greater is he, that's Jesus Christ, who's inside of me than Satan, who's in the world. Greater is he who's inside of me, Jesus, than everything that he would want to launch against me. So if you begin to say those things, then you don't have to fight. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I, I, one day we were praying, it was either yesterday or the other day, that, that when I realized the weapons was not just the enemy throwing against you, the weapons are the lack of... Uh, finances mm -hmm. that that comes against you the weapon That's is good stuff. yeah the weapon is is fear mm -hmm. that the enemy use against you the weapon is a lack of knowledge of, of of the of the Lord the weapon is doubt the the weapon is lack of faith the weapon that the enemy uses those are what he used against stuff. you so no weapon formed mm. if I don't have money that's a weapon if I, if, if I don't use it right and say, Lord, you said in your word that I would prosper and be in health, even my soul, as my soul prosper. But if I sit up there and go through changes because I don't have enough money, that's a weapon that's used mm. against me that's to keep stuff. me down. So uh, one of the other things that begin to happen that I learned is that the more we pray, the more revelation truth comes. Absolutely. Isn't that awesome? That's right. So you don't have to fear. There's some T-shirts that, that's out there. I don't know whether it's a Christian who did it or not. It says, no fear. Mm. And people are wearing those shirts or have been wearing them for a while that says, no fear. So whether they got it from the Word or wherever they got it from, we as Christians should be walking around with no fear. No fear. Because greater is God who's in us than he, he who is in this world. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. That is so great. And like you said... God has not given us a spirit of fear, mm -hmm. but a power, love, and a sound mind. Yes, that's right. But here's the key. The scripture says perfect love, perfect love. cast out fear. Mm -hmm. So when you are afraid and fearful, you're not made perfect in love. Mm -hmm. So if you make yourself perfect in love, then you'll cast out the fear and you'll walk in vic victorious. And the weapon that's formed against you, it, it can form. Mm -hmm. Weapons will form against you. But they won't prosper. They won't Kind of reminds me of the weapon that was against me years ago. Mm. A 357 Magnum. Mm. Shot in the head and left for dead. And it was amazing because it didn't prosper. Mm -hmm. Look at me today. I'm alive right. and, and excited about God. It was a weapon formed, but it didn't prosper. That's great. And so a weapon can be formed against you, but it won't prosper. That's right. Well, listen, we are just about out of time. I want to say to those who especially my studio audience. Thank you all so very much. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you all. I want to thank Johnetta so much for coming. Yes. Such an inspiration to the yes. set. So inspiring. Just, just awesome. So we're so glad she's with us. Mm -hmm. And you are watching by way of television. Go to our website, Journey mm -hmm. to Greatness BC at gmail.com and write to us if we're being a blessing uh, to you. And if perhaps you would like prayer, just call the number on your mm -hmm. screen, 704-322-8010. Operators are standing by to take your call to pray with you and encourage you and be a blessing to you. Well, we got to give you the prayer number now. I'm going to ask my lovely wife to give you the prayer number, and then we got to go. We got to we gotta get out of here. I hate that. <laughs> but, uh, man, time just go by so fast. But I want my lovely wife to give you the prayer line, okay. and I want you to, on that line, Eastern Standard Time, 6 a.m., Monday through Friday, I want you to join us in prayer, and I guarantee you we'll bombard heaven on your behalf. You know, one of the things that I love that, that's going on so great in my life in this season is we have a prayer room not only in the house but in the church. Yes, that I, do. You know, and I walk in there, yes. Absolutely. I don't have to muster up. and I just walk into the presence of God and just start thanking God. It's just awesome. But I got to go, but I want my lovely wife, give her a big, Wait a minute, wait a minute. My darling, darling <laughs> baby. My sweet and sexy lady. The prayer line is 218-936-0812. That's 218. Did you get it? 936-0812, and the code is 22. Five, four pounds. Now, wait a minute. I wanted to give that to you again, and I want you to get a crayon, chalk, pencil. I don't care what you get. Get something to write this number down, okay? Okay, I want you to get this number. Give it to him one more time. We got just about one more minute. 218. 218-936-0812. 0812. 0812. All right, well, we got to go the again. the code is 2254-POUND. Two two five four pound. Well, listen, we gotta go. Thank you so much for joining us again. I'm Dr. Randall Hall Walker, my lovely wife. It's a joy. Thank you for joining us today on During the Greatest Broadcast with Dr. Randall Hall Walker, and we're so excited and excited to come to you, and we wish God's very best to you.